Here in the West Midlands and right across the whole of the UK, they finished top of the polls in our region, electing three MEPs. They saw off a challenge from two of their former MEPs, Nikki Sinclair and Mike Natras. They both left to form their own parties. Nikki Sinclair from We Demand a Referendum Now party is with us. Uh, Nikki, morning to you. Good morning. Uh, you came seventh in the West Midlands. Obviously, you must be disappointed this morning. Of course, of course it's uh, disappointing, but um, I'm a Democrat and obviously accept and respect the, 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 the decision of my, uh, my employer. Why did your message not cut through? I think obviously the, the, uh, the, the anti-EU voice was divided and of course the, the national media, you know, really gave unprecedented coverage and local media as well gave unprecedented coverage to one party. Well, that's not the case, is it? Because uh, you, you well know that the situation that uh, the media have to be very balanced in what they do, and and, well, I don't, I don't, uh, and ultimately I, we well, are. From, from from what I've seen from the main political parties, they don't accept that. Right, but uh, ultimately uh, you, you're out, if you like, out of a job. What happens to you next? Well, I'm 46 years old, and if, you know my future is as half as exciting as the first half has been. I've got a lot to look forward to. Well, tell us what it, what it involves. Well, I'm not going to make any decisions less than 12 hours afterwards. You, you know, obviously you need to take time. It's, you know, you can't, you know, unlike a radio presenter, you can't go to another station, you can't find another parliament to go to immediately. Mm. Uh, so you've not had a chance to, to reflect on it. Do you, do you reflect well, who, on it? Who, who, who would in 12 hours? Who, if anyone that your listeners has been made redundant, who made a decision within 12 hours? Do you, do you reflect on the decision to, to leave UKIP now, that, that you've, really. backed, you've backed the wrong horse? No, well, it's not really backing the wrong horse. I left UKIP four and a half years ago. On principle, you know, they were involved in, in um, and linked with some rather extremists in, in the European Parliament, and that wasn't me. And I joined UKIP on principle. I joined UKIP out of protest, and when that principle was no longer served by being in with UKIP, I remained true to myself. And that's not, the easiest thing for me would have been to, to be stayed within UKIP, and I would have been guaranteed re-election. But that's not me, and that's not why I got in politics in the first place. Mm. Do you congratulate UKIP on what they've achieved? I think, I think obviously, any party that wins a poll needs should be congratulated, because, obviously, they have, they have the support of the majority of the people, and, and therefore they should be congratulated, because it's the people that put them there, and politics all too often forget, which is probably why we have the rise of UKIP, because the mainstream politicians in this country have forgot about the people. Mm. So, uh, it, with with that in mind then, I mean, obviously, as you say, you'll, you'll be reflecting on, on where you go now. Will it be politics that, that you stay in, Nikki? I mean, obviously, well, you, you, as, you're as, an as, author, and uh, as, you're, as, a, you're a person of many talents, should we say. <laughs> well, thank, thank you. I've, yes, I've, look, I've done lots of things in my, my, in my life, and um, I think there's, there's lots of opportunities, but as I said, any of your listeners who've ever been made redundant, I don't think many of them have made decisions within 12 hours. Nikki Sinclair will uh, follow your progress uh, in the future. Thanks for coming on this morning, uh, uh, Nikki Sinclair from We Demand a Referendum Now Party.